What's good, YouTube? So, I am making B Love sauce today. Hey! So, I'm making B Love sauce because I just wanted to try a sauce out, honestly. And I don't have any seafood right now, so it's just not the work I want to guy. Um, I had a bright idea to put it on some tamales and to put it on top of this um, chipotle that I have. The chipotle is, it doesn't have a lot in it. Like, it's really just vegetables, barbacoa, and some chicken. So, that going on top of some tamales shouldn't really change the flavor, so we're going to see what her sauce tastes like on that. I also will be doing another mukma with the actual um, seafood very, very soon, but I definitely wanted to make sure I gave it a try because I just can't deal with everybody just eating her sauce. I'm just seeing all this delicious flavor. I love you, love, by the way. And I'm going to make sure that I get a part of it because I need to try this sauce. I'm just, I just can't deal with it with it anymore but you guys bear with me I do have uh, most of the ingredients already on the counter I'm gonna add the rest of them to the counter and um, get my little spread here and we're gonna make the sauce all right guys I'll see you soon what's up YouTube family it's me Andre Blue welcome to Planet Blue where we try to do everything brand new okay so guys, I have some Chipotle here, and um, I see everybody doing this B-Love sauce, and I love B-Love, don't get me wrong, that's my girl, love to watch her, she is very entertaining, I love her channel, she just reached a million subscribers, which is amazing, you know, I love seeing black women win, it's always a feat, and always an amazing thing to see. So, you guys, she has this sauce that she makes, and she's asking everybody to kind of try it and do different things now. Um, I don't have any seafood right now. It's too early. And guys, I got shades on in the house because I just woke up not too long ago. And I hate the way my eyes are puffy when I wake up. So I was like, I want to record right now. And I'm going to record these shades on. How you doing? You like these? They're cute. I know. Thanks. <laughs> so anywho, um, I'm going to go ahead and try her B-Love sauce, guys. I did make it authentic. Um, the only thing I did not have was... Um, I didn't dice any onions because I didn't feel like crying. My eyes are puffy enough. And I didn't have any cayenne pepper. But I had everything else. So it's all made authentically with that. And I just went heavy on the onion powder. It's still, you know, it's just onion dried and, and uh, made into powder form. So I would have tried it today with this Chipotle over here, right? I had this Chipotle and I wanted to eat it. I didn't even eat it. I bought it last night, but I didn't eat it, guys. So I was like, well, let me just... Um, see if I'm going to eat it. You know, today I was like, well, I can eat it on camera, but I'm going to actually eat it with this sauce. And we're going to see how it tastes. And I got these tamales back, guys. I'm telling y'all, I told y'all they was coming back. I told y'all I bought a whole bunch of them, okay? I really, really did. So I got each of each flavor. I have the, the pork, I have the chicken, and I have the, the beef here. And I'm going to be dipping these in the sauce. You know what? I ain't dipping nothing. Let me just go ahead and just drench it. Let's just go all the way for it, guys, because I want to keep talking. Woo, this sauce looks amazing, guys. Look at that. Look at that. So let's just go ahead and just drench it. Like, why we can just go for it here, okay? Mmm. So, guys, I'm, I'm, I may say drench, but I'm still a meat eater. <laughs> So it may not be as rich as I want it to be. All right, so let me show y'all this. This is B Love Sauce, guys. Like, oh my goodness. This is exciting. This is exciting. So I'm going to start off with this one first, and we're going to eat, and then we're going to talk because you guys... I don't know. I feel like somebody got a vendetta against me. They're, the forces are working against me. And we got to find out why that is the case. Because these fast food restaurants seem to hate your boy. And I have no idea why. <laughs> One moment, guys. Let me just try this out now. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Guys, actually, I started with the pork. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yo, that flavor. I thought people was lying when they told me. You know, I've been seeing people eat her sauce. 
And say, see how good it is? No. No, this is. This ain't even seafood. I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Messing up. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Guys, I went and bought some water because I don't live in a in a state that is like like I hate purchasing water, but you just kind of have no choice living out here. I live in Arizona; you have no choice but to buy a bottle of water because you just need it on hand at all times. I just keep some in my car, you know, just in case. But, mm. so that was the pork. Now we're gonna try the chicken right here. Look at this, you guys. This is the chicken. Mmm, mmm. Let me reiterate, these tamales are homemade, but they're authentic tamales. <laughs> I don't know why tamales fool me up so quick. Like, I'm already feeling it. So before I get too full, let me go ahead and try this steak out real quick, guys. This is the beef. Okay. We love you win. You win. Hands down. Mm. You win. You definitely win. So let me pour the rest of this on my Chipotle. Guys, I'm I'm going for it, okay? This is just I'm just putting the, the sauce on the food. This has all the seasons at the bottom right now. So really the pole is gonna be the most seasoned. But we're gonna go for it, guys. We're gonna go for the gold. Okay? Let me show y'all what this is what we're working with. This is Be Love sauce on top of my Chipotle. My Chipotle has Pretty much the works. Like it has um, corn, rice, it has lettuce on top of it, it has um, avocado, it has barbacoa, chicken, um, grilled veggies, and stuff like that. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go from this area over here. Make sure I get a bunch of meat and cheese. Oop, guys, I'm messing up. All right. The sauce is on top of that, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but bottoms up. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah. You know what? Let's try it again. That's fire. That's absolutely fire. Mm, mm, mm. That's fire. Okay. 
Definitely good, guys. Give this a try. Beloved, how in the world did you make a sauce and go on anything? I still even tried it. Well, I tried it with chicken tamales, but I even tried it with the chicken. I see you do it with the chicken. Like a whole chicken, you put it drenched in that sauce. I was like, that's kind of, you know, at first I didn't understand, but now I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's spicy, so you got to take a water break. Woo! Let me get into it, guys. Let me tell you something. First and foremost, I'm ready to get out in these streets with all these fast restaurants. I'm ready to catch y'all where y'all live at. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Going to these fast food restaurants has been a feat. It's always been an issue for me. It's always been a problem. And I'm getting about sick of it. And now I feel like they want to catch this fade. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Because you know what? Why every time I got to go to a window? Like, I went and got this Chipotle yesterday. I was so upset I didn't eat it. Because... You know, when I went there, I had already kind of just saw this place. Like, it's a new one that they built by my job. So, and I really don't go to Chipotle very much because I I just make it myself. Like, I make all this just by myself. But um, I went to Chipotle um, yesterday for lunch or whatever. No, I'm sorry. I went yesterday before I got home. And I went to that Chipotle. And I went and got this meal I got here. Guys, let me tell you. I get up in there and, uh, you know, first thing I see is four bad-ass kids. Now, I typically mind my business, you know. <laughs> I, I just, I, I name my kids. I ain't worried about it. You know, if they want to run amok and do what they do, I, that's not me. You know what I mean? They don't believe in whooping your kids no more, which I ain't going to say, you know. I'm not going to say it on camera, but, you know, they clearly don't whoop kids no more. Whatever. So, anyway, I go over to the Chipotle. You know what I mean? I get a, I get in line. And um, I'm just kind of looking at the meme, just trying to see what they have. So the kids kind of get, they were sitting at a table next to me, right? They kind of just moving around, doing a lot, making me nervous. I'm just kind of like, can you like calm down? Like, why is you moving so much? Guys, when people move a, a behind me or around me too much, it makes me nervous. Blame my hood them. So anyway, <laughs> so they get up and they just kind of zoom past me. So I got to step back like this. The dude that's sitting up there at the damn um, food thing is looking at me and looking at and seeing what I'm doing. He was looking at me like kind of weird. So I just kind of was like, mm, you know, I, I, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to just keep it cute because I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like the kids just ran right by me. I mean, if I had I smack one of them, then, you know, I'm going to they're gonna put me under the jail. So I'm just like, let me just move out the way so they can go about their day. You know, it makes me nervous people move like that. So um, they get in line, and the kids um, get to their mama. They up there pulling on her, telling her what they ain't going to do. I mean, these are small kids. They couldn't be more than six, five, or six years old. Um, she had four of them with her. They all pulling, crying. One of them got the cups. He didn't want to give the other ones a cup. He cried because he didn't want to share. He got four cups in his hand. Don't want to share it with none of his siblings. And he just crying and just doing the absolute most. The mama just sitting out there looking like she she's trying to hold it together. You know, she's like, I want to order this. I want this. I want this. You know, get, get the chips. Guys, just be careful. You're going to be in such big trouble. You know, doing all that. So I'm just, watching, I'm just in there watching. I'm minding my business again. Block you out. So I started to order my food. The guy got an attitude with me, per usual, with anything I do. And he was like, um, did you need anything? And I was just kind of like... What do you mean? Do I need anything? Did I not come to here? Did I not come to a fast restaurant? I think I'm here to order something. Like, what do you mean? Do I need anything? I was like, look, I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to catch a case before I go home. So his motherfucking ass gonna ask me like, okay, well, you know, how can you know what can I do for you? He started running down an order and stuff like that. I feel like he was like, like not that I felt I know he was kind of trying to rush me a little bit, like and like the restaurant don't close for a while, so. I don't know if his shoe was at the end or whatever. But he's trying to rush me and stuff. I'm like, okay. You know, so I'm just looking. I'm like, okay, so you try to rush me, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to pay you like that. So I'm like, I don't know what I want. What meat is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? Whatever. Because there was nobody behind me. So I had to be considerate. 
So I'm trying to order my food or whatever. By the way, the lady is still ordering her food. Now, this has been about 10 minutes. <laughs> and the lady is still trying to get this order done while these kids are here um, acting up. You know what I mean? Acting a whole ass out here. So I'm like, and they were cute kids. Don't get me wrong, they was real cute, but it's always the cute ones. It's always the cute ones you got to watch out for. Because they be acting up. You know what I mean? So, um, finally get the cuffs passed out. Because one, because the mom made the kid give the cuffs to the kids, right? So, they go to the soda machine. They fight at the soda machine. They spilling soda everywhere. They're just doing the absolute most. I'm trying real hard to be petty to him and not pay attention to them. <laughs> because I can't do both. <laughs> I just can't do both. So, um... We finally get down to where the vegetables and stuff is at, right? And he just kind of slides the plate over to the chick and just kind of walks back over. Didn't ask if I need anything else or whatever. Blah, blah. So I told the chick, I was like, excuse me, can I get this, this, and this? I was like, because I did, I wasn't done making my plate. I was like, wow, you know, just people just so rude and this and that and the other. She was like, yeah. She was like, I just don't understand why people are so rude and this and that. I was like, right. So she reads my order up, I get my order. Mind you, the dude is in the corner just kind of staring at me the whole entire time. I said, you know, can I help you? Did you need something? He was like, no, I'm just saying if you're going to finish ordering your food, you know, because he said somebody finish ordering your food. That's what he said. Like, not that he was telling me to finish ordering my food. He was saying something like, I'm just waiting on you to finish ordering your food. I was like, okay, well, you know what? That's cool. I ordered my food. I was like, can I get a bag of chips? He was like, well, we can make them fresh for you. I said, no, I don't need them fresh. There's bags up here that you already pre-made. Can I get one of those bags? And he was like, well, those are to-go bags. I was like, look, if I'm paying my money for this food and I ask you for a to-go bag of chips, that's what I'm doing because I'm about to go. I got to get home. And he was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that you were not dining in. I was like, this is a to-go box. Like the whole bag, 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 this is to-go. So he was like... <laughs> So the dude just had an attitude the entire time. I was like, look, Jesus, hold me. Because I'm about to cuss his motherfucking ass out. I was like, hold me. But this is not a one-time thing, guys. This happens way more often than not. People, every time I go to these things, I remember this one time I went to a fast food restaurant. This was back when I lived in Dallas. We went to, I believe it was Burger King. We were pulling into the, um, we were pulling into the drive-thru, right? So we took our order at the little thing, right? We get to the window. I mean, this is after we ordered. I want to put that out there. We get to the window, and this black dude opens the window, and he gets out, and he, he kind of leans over on the little window thing. He's like, can I help you? And we were like, what do you mean can you help me? I just ordered my food. <laughs> I just ordered this food. We ordered like a, we ordered all this. I mean, we ordered a whole bunch of shit. So, you know, I, I told his ass. I was like, we just ordered the food. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> like, where's the food? He was like, oh, okay. I see the order on the screen. I was like, didn't you just take our order? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, why did you ask us what do we need? He was like, I just didn't know that was y'all. He was like, no, it beats in my ear when people leave the little thing. And I was like, nah, I work. And I know something ain't right. I was, I'm gonna let it go. So he goes back there. Our food is not being made, by the way. It's not being prepared. I don't know if you put the order in or whatever. So we sitting in Burger King's parking lot for a good six minutes, six or seven minutes, still waiting on our food. We just talking with her, blah, blah, blah. And the guy finally comes to the window. He brings us one bag of food. One. I was like, where's the rest of the food? Like, we ordered, at first I was two separate orders, and then where's the rest of our food? He gonna tell me, well, um, unfortunately, we ran out of this. Like, there was something they ran out of, so they couldn't make the other thing that we had ordered. Like, this is back, like, when them late, snack, late night snacks that they used to have and stuff like that. Um, and he was like, um, we, we just ran out of this and that and the other, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, so why you just didn't tell us that before you made this bag of food? Because we probably would have went somewhere else and got some food where we can both eat. I ordered what I ordered. If you ran out, why would you do that? He was like, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Like, we just don't have our food. I was like, you know what? Keep the food. Refund me my money. So I had to refund me my money. I got a million of these instances, guys. 
that this stuff happens to me. And I'm just starting to feel like all these restaurants has got it out for me. They just really want me to act up. You know, I had the lady that was in the window, you know, <laughs> trying to claw at the clerk. Y'all remember that little video that came out? That white woman was like clawing, was trying to like beat that chick up in the um <laughs> in the drive through window. That was crazy. But I, you know, I'm, I'm 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 telling you, they're trying to get me to act like that. I'm just like, let me just calm myself down. Let me not do that. Let me not act up. I always try to keep a cool head. And I got fooled, guys. Just FYI. So I always try to keep a cool head. But I'll be ready to just, I, 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 I'm telling you, I can't handle it. I'm, I can't handle it. So this last time at Chipotle, when I tell you I wanted to take my bag of food and just dump it out on the floor and throw the bag at his hip forehead, I was like, let me just not even do that. You know, how, like you can see. You can see what you want to do before you do it. And you got to stop yourself from actually going through with it. <laughs> this is how it was for me, guys. That is crazy. Have y'all had any drive through crazy drive through experiences? Are you like me where pretty much all your experiences are crazy? And they never really just go the way they should? You just want to get some food. Or you want it with something quick and fast and it just never goes that way. It's always something that goes on at the situation. And then, you know, it's kind of like you would think that the window clerk would be the most patient person in the world. But I can kind of see where they're coming from because people is crazy. I've had some people that order some outlandish things, say they didn't order that, order something else, and then drive the fuck off. You know how, how infuriating that is? <laughs> wasting my time. I could have been here just talking and shooting the shit and here you come here wasting my time. I, I definitely get it. And... Everybody keeps telling me how good, um, what is that place called, guys? They're not open on Sundays. No, not Chipotle. Uh, what is it called? Chick-fil-A. I don't support Chick-fil-A personally. Just don't. Y'all should probably know why. But um, I heard that their customer service is good. But because I just don't support them, I'll never be able to experience the beauty of great <laughs> food services because I'm just not going through their drive through like that. Y'all, I even had an issue out here in Phoenix where my sister came out and we went to this, um, and I would use it, I don't never use this word lightly, but I would say racist as a hot dog joint out here where <laughs> the guy had an attitude, me and my sister, we looking hood, she got gold, you know what I mean? I had a fitted cap, it was, I mean, it was a lot going on. And the dude acted like he didn't want to serve us. It took forever to get our food. We got our food. The hot dogs was turned over in the damn thing. So all that chili and cheese and all that stuff was at the top of the um, the container. It wasn't on our actually actual hot dogs. So like they just kind of just threw them in there flimsily. Like it was just a lot. And I was like, I was just like, I can't deal. I can't deal. I, I, I'm going to have to avoid. That's why I cook all the time. I'm going to have to avoid going to fast food restaurants at all costs. Because they're going to be, that's my kryptonite. They're going to end up making me go to fucking jail. And I can't deal with that. But guys, this was fun. I just wanted to give like a little taste test of this. Because I am absolutely full right now, guys. But uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I just wanted to try to be love sauce on this food. It was delicious. I really am waiting on to do the seafood. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do a fried seafood boil or if I'm going to do an actual seafood boil, but you guys will probably get that this weekend. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, also, guys, don't forget to check out my other content. I talk about a lot of stuff. It's all fun. I'm fun. It's just um, amazing. And we're going to be having a lot of fun moving forward. Um, also, guys, make sure you give me some suggestions on food that you guys want me to try. I want to, I low key am now addicted to V Love sauce. So I actually might be trying to go on some weird stuff. Like, <laughs> the, like the, the wheels are already turning in my head. So I'm kind of thinking, like, hmm, I probably want to try on some tilapia, possibly. That's like, that's not too far off the rim. I want to try on an uh, actual vegetable boil. I want to try on some, I want to try on some like chicken nuggets, like from McDonald's, see if they chicken nuggets, or maybe I need to get a bunch of chicken nuggets from like a different places. I don't give you my ideas, but it's coming. But 
Till then, guys, thank you so much for sitting here and enjoying the food with me. This was fun. I definitely enjoyed myself, guys. Make sure you guys get in those comments and let me know if y'all have had any crazy drive through experiences and what they were, because I'm definitely interested to hear. I don't like to feel like I'm the only one going through this, though, because then I feel attacked. And we don't want to be feeling attacked out in these streets. But all right. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.